The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour. Dows up 137 on this uh, Tuesday, the 19th of December. Uh, all time high breaking out. You can see in the monthly chart, legs C. Now, just to clarify, in the Chapman methodology, the, the ideal is that you go from a buy signal to a buy mode, implying that there should be at least whatever the time limit, time frame you're looking at, daily, weekly, 120-minute chart, one-minute chart, doesn't matter, monthly. <clears throat> there should be at least a buy signal upgrade to a buy mode should get take you to at least a leg D and then a peak D. That's the fourth highest peak from the low bar. We are in leg C. That means between now and the first trading day of January, which would be 31st is Sunday. Uh, I can't remember now if it's the Monday or the Tuesday, whatever the first day is, it begins a new week. If there is a new high any time in January above the December high, that extends leg C. So in my webinar that I'm doing tomorrow afternoon, these are the things I'm looking at. Look, the current pros, that's the, you know, the positives and the market weaknesses that I'm seeing right here as we stand. There is leadership and a broadening out of the sectors. That's number one. The dollar and yields have dropped. That does give impetus to areas like the financials that were not particip participating as well as they should. The weekly charts have rallied helping the monthly charts. That, uh, we were waiting a long time to see anything that could could assist the weekly charts so that those monthly charts, you, you're ready for momentum. You need to see the, the, the first gear move to the second gear, then the third gear, and then overdrive. You've got to have that torque. The daily gives the torque. The uh, weekly gives that extra momentum, and then the monthly chart takes you into that momentum. So that's really important. You've got the Dow at all-time highs, the S&P very close, the QQQs, what did I say, within 25 cents or something. That's really important. So those are the weekly charts. Mm -hmm. The semiconductors have led the way. They lead the way up, they lead the way down. Right now, they're just kind of stalling a little bit. I'll go through that in a moment. That's not to say they're weak or anything, but the, the, the upside momentum on the daily basis it's just kind of uh, petered out a little, and they have made all-time highs, and now they're just trying to just find that extra momentum. So my thinking here is that just on a very short-term basis, becoming a little bit vulnerable to a breather, whether or not that just is a couple of days pullback and then we make high highs, that's something we'll discuss. But in the meantime, on the pro side, the VIX volatility index is at yearly lows. <laughs> yearly lows. Um, I'm doing most of years. And there's a huge buildup of cash and CDs. Um, and that, that really basically is also bond money because the bond, most people don't realize it, but the bond money is just huge. Um, I don't know exactly what the percentage is, more than the stocks, but it is very big. So that's the positive. On the on the con side, on the, on the kind of, I wouldn't even say negative side, but the, the part that says just be a little careful. Near term, the daily charts are becoming extended, mostly because of the unbalanced volume that I'm looking at. They are in territory that says just be careful. You could get sudden pullbacks, but that just says it's one indicator. All the other indicators are still very strong in most of the key indices and certainly in the key stocks. The weekly charts are showing very overbought unbalanced volume almost as much as the daily. There, there, that's a little bit more serious, but it's a weekly chart. It takes weeks to unfold, okay? And the estimations, as I said, are becoming overboard near term. So I'll be monitoring that and looking at it. And the VIX index, the same thing that was positive 
the VIX index is at yearly lows, says, whoops, on the other side, you're going to say, wait a minute, the VIX index is at multi-year lows. That means there's a chance that it could rally and that would be a negative for the market. But those things haven't come to pass just yet. I'm saying this is what we're looking at in the current market conditions. Uh, more importantly, what I'll be looking at is which lagging stocks, indices, etc., <clears throat> besides the ones that are really doing well, because we like a mix for the for portfolios in my opening call. We have, for instance, we do have Microsoft. That's a triple digit uh, stock. And we do have single digit stocks. So I, I, we're not averse to having a plethora of price ranges. And that just says there's going to be opportunity. Now, it might mean that we have to wait a couple of weeks for a big pullback to be able to get into some. On the other hand, others are just in leg B or C in the daily charts, and we are expecting at least Ds in those. So there are entry points that we can get to, and I'll be discussing that in great detail tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, we still have positions that we are looking at and uh, every day, regardless. All right, so the Dow is up uh, 151, the S&P. Let me just get there. Yeah, I'm hearing music in my ear. Not sure what that is all about. Uh, let me just check. Is there a message there? Uh, okay. Okay, good. Here we go. So the S and P is now at uh, S and P is right now at uh, four seven five six. Let me just go there. S and P. Is in leg alternate count leg C, and that just says um, that means we could have a pullback and then another spike to the upside, and that's all part of this whole December thing. January is going to be something different uh, because we have to wait for the weekly charts to unfold to complete by the end of December, and then we look at January fresh to see what's continuing. But look at the nine period moving average in the S and P, way above. The 14, and the 14 is way above the 9. The MACD is good. Stochastic's flat at 93%. On balance volume has pulled back. Haven't seen anything in the price. <laughs> that's, very, that's very, very interesting. And the weekly chart now, I've discussed this over and over. Let me just say, at this particular point, I have to consider this is a leg A up in the weekly chart. If it is an A up, even if there's a pullback from 47, 56, something happens, and I'll talk about the dark news cloud cover. I don't want to go into it right now because I don't see anything. Yields are coming down. The VIX is low. Uh, I, I see a little, little what are they call the cumulus clouds or whatever they call up in the, I just see little puffs, little puffs there. I don't see any, any dark news cloud cover at this particular point. Now, yes, important. This weekly chart, for now, I have to call a leg A. You made a PG, there's never an H. The, only, the, uh, the count I'm giving right now is an A. In the uh, daily chart of the S&P, the Dow is, look at this, leg A. Uh, there I could give an alternate count, but I just don't see why I should. It is a leg A. The QQQ, weekly chart, leg B. That's a little different, different design, different pattern. A leg B, F slash B, I could have an alternate count, but I'm calling it B for now. Stochastic in the weekly chart is 95%, the daily chart is 94%. And it's still a leg F to the upside in the uh, daily. The IWM, now this is going to be very important. Why? Because the IWM, uh, weekly chart is in leg C, and it's at that point at 200. This is where you find some kind of resistance. It's going to be I'll be right back. That was up 155. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
TFNN, Educating Investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, and we're looking at the Dow up 152 SBs up 17 uh, this Dow is leading a little bit up 0.41% SBs up 0.36% now what we're looking at here is the IWM this breakout to the upside, um, going to move this. Let me squeeze it. Yeah, I'll squeeze it. It's easier. Yeah, so this is the weekly chart. And you can see, I'll just squeeze it so that you can see everything that's been going on for um, two years. Stuck between basically 190, let's call it 200. 200 and 162, 160, let's say. Stuck, stuck, stuck. And look at this, each one of these sequences to the upside failed at the resistance point. And what happened is that the stochastic went to uh, over 80%, but within a couple of bars, this is a weekly chart, failed and went under 80%, dragging the price down, dragging below the 200 period moving average. Is that going to happen here? Well, this is what we're looking at. <clears throat> now I'm going to expand a little bit. Right. Expanding a little bit. Within the context of the notation, it fails at a peak C, it fails at a peak B once, and it fails at a peak C, 199.26, and then that was in February, and then back in around about July, it fails at 198.75, makes a lower low, uh, goes down to the 160 level, and now it's had a straight up move 40 points to, uh, to 200. But it's not that. You have to really put into perspective and say, wait a minute. Let's look at the weekly uh, weekly chart, the action, if it takes out 200. What does it do to the monthly? Well, the monthly, you can see, has had this Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone right here. Look right there, right there. Ah, uh, yeah, we go. And what happened was, if this becomes red, because if it goes under it, that's negative. And if this becomes, did I do something differently? Yes, I did. Red. And if this becomes green, Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone right there, green, it's come off very nicely. But let's do this. Let's make it a proper channel and go, well, it's a slightly, it's actually slightly declining, fractionally lower lows, but that doesn't matter. We'll still call it a channel by putting it up here and say, this will be the resistance zone right there. 
I'll expand a little bit so that you can see what I'm talking about right there. And this will then be the breakout zone. And I'll be talking about this in my webinar tomorrow. What's going to happen if in this particular phase, the lagging, and it's been lagging for quite some time, lagging IWM Russell 2000 suddenly becomes active, possibly as stocks like in Amazon or Microsoft, uh, Google, uh, you know, the, the, the Magnuson 7, don't have quite the upside momentum that they had. They take a bit of a breather or they, don't, they have the upside momentum slows. And lo and behold, you start to see the I Russell 2000. Now, look at this. This is the, did I write that down? How many times have I done this? The Russell small caps. Is that the R? Oh, my. Oh, I'll have to just check it out. So let me just type this in here. I can't believe I've done this almost every day. R Oops, now I'm going to the indexes. There it is. This is the R Russell 1000, and that is, if you don't write it correctly, it doesn't give it here. It's very important that you write it, type it incorrectly. So let me do that again. R Russell 1000. And I'm going to go, oh, it is an REI. Okay, I should have known that, right? I thought it was an REI, and I thought I did that yesterday. And didn't work. Look at this. The Russell, look at the difference. This is the 1,000. These are the small, smaller caps. These are the tiny ones. This is a leg C, and now it's going to a leg, oh, it's a G slash C. G slash C right there, alternate count. And it's going to a D as we speak, or G C, going to a D. There it is. This is the RUI, dollar RUI. That's how I get it. Um, uppercase for that, upside. There we go. And this is the single leg A. Is it an F or is it an A? Wow, everything about this with a stochastic at 98.66, 100%, never gets to 100%, but that is really strong. That says this should be an A. But more importantly, it made a peak C. And then it didn't, doesn't go to a C minus. It just says you've got to still count all the troughs because this is your starting point. You've got to count each successively higher peak. Well, from this low, you pull back, and that means you're starting another one. So that becomes an A, that becomes a B, and now we're in a leg C. It's almost like the Dow, except it hasn't gone to a new high. So that's a leg C. The moment it takes out that high that was made back in the Russell 1000, from back in, here we go, back in the February of 2022 at 254.217. 254.217. Um, and it's trading right now with a high of 2616. Uh, two, wait a minute, 2616. How could I have read that correctly? That's incorrect. That should have been a high of. <laughs> There we go. 2672. 2672, round number high. No way. 2672, a round number at an all time high. Round number high. That's amazing. Round number high. All right, so that's fine. And now what we're looking at is. It tumbles down to the just under 2,000 and now it's trading at 2,616. So it has uh, 56 points or so to go to make an all-time high. And there's your cup formation, little lopsided cup formation. So this is what I'm saying, that there is there is a difference here because this is the first time that you actually got participation in the areas that had, had been much weaker. And certainly in the IWM, the Russell 2000, much, much weaker. So I just wanted to point out that there is a rotation going on, and that rotation says within the uh, market participation is broadening. That is really important. Now, uh, the question about GDX. So the GDX, nice candle today. Uh, here we go, 31.82, up a dollar of seven. Uh, that is, uh, let me just check this out. Yes, so that is the weekly leg C if it goes above 32, no, 31 points. 
92 or something, if I remember correctly. 30, oh, 31.35. If it goes above 31.35, no, that can't be right. 35.93. Yeah, I thought it was in the 90s. 31.93. If it goes to 31.94 uh, this week, that starts another leg to the upside, and it extends the weekly chart to leg C. It's not a great-looking chart, but it's really working out very well in terms of going to very obvious support levels and then rallying, looking at silver. Let's go to silver. <clears throat> silver is not acting as well. It is up today, up 28 cents at 24.39. Um, it's trying to work its way off the 200-period moving average. Just as we go to the break, I'm going to go to the high-grade copper. Nice move in high-grade copper, especially it's helping with the chart. But the leg B, especially with it, it's 95 this week. But the first time we've seen this kind of bounce off the chart, hopefully, uh, continues. I'll be back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I just want to 
wanted to show this chart. This is what I had here for the Dow. Uh, I've been showing this to subscribers for uh, about a week now that I have like a one-to-one -one extension and I drew this in. It didn't look like it was in the get there a few days ago, but today it hit exactly, what is that line saying? That line says uh, 37,488 and so far the high today is uh, 37,479. So it's right here, but all this does, and this is the same that I find with uh, the Fibonacci numbers uh, quite often, not always, because uh, they are really helpful. I always put I put the Fibonacci's in for years and years, but then I take it away because I find it a little messy when I have my own uh, techniques and my own trend lines, etc., that are, are working nicely. But in this particular case, that is a one-to-one, -one, but it's a one-to-one -one from the 32,327 of October the 27th to peak B, there was one bar rest and then it moved up. So I use that as my little fulcrum for the move, the propeller shaft moved to the upside. So it doesn't go one-to-one -to, -one to the exact high. It goes to one-to-one -to, -one to the pullback and that took me to that level. And this is just a, it's kind of a gauge. It's not even, it's not even like a traffic light or a traffic stop. It just says um, in terms of having a marker, uh, if you had to say, how far is it to the closest uh, CVS or Walgreens or something? Um, and you say, oh, yeah, if you went uh, to that particular block, it's about another double or whatever that is. So that's all it is. But it's nice to have at least an idea of um, what to look for. And in this particular case, it's this area. So my, my instinct now is saying that I've got to consider that this, look at this move in one, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight bars. In other words, eight days. Mm -hmm. This is still a single leg move to the upside. I'm calling it an F at this particular point. Could be an alternate count. I have no idea yet. But look at the daily chart. Daily chart shows you that on balance volume is one of the over, most overboard it's got. That just says it's one indicator. And therefore, it, does, it doesn't say, oh, my God, if that comes back down, then you're going to drag the price. It just says that there should be a rest period as the um, unbalanced volume has a pullback. That's all it needs is a pullback to have a breather. And that should say that the at minimum, um, I wouldn't say at minimum, at, to look at support in the Dow at this particular point, 38,000. Is that uh, 30, what is that? Sorry, 30, not 38, 36,920 is this green nine period moving average. So that's tremendous support. And even now, as we're talking, uh, there's still buying that keeps coming in. And now you've got the resistance, automated resistance, and this is what I show subscribers every single day. You've got automated resistance levels right there that the Dow is trying to push up against and break out of. All right, and now here, just to show you something, uh, I, I promised myself one of these days I'll just spend one show going, showing you all these different charts. Look, this is the, the Dow. This is the S&P. This is the, the NDX uh, 100. And this is the SMHs. Look how they've all moved up sharply. And look at um, the move from October that has just gone straight up with maybe one. Uh, and this is a weekly chart with one peak maximum. Some of them have no, no peaks at all, just a single leg eight to the upside. So as long as those holding are holding well, that's good. Now, that does make it sometimes a little difficult to grab some of the stocks that you really want that have gotten away. And that's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. How, how can we handle um, this market if, let's just say, even though I'm looking at overbought levels, I haven't got any sell signals yet. So what if we, 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 we chug through in this particular pattern into early January? What do you do? Uh, what do you do saying, oh, am I getting it? And, you know, the fear is that you're getting it right now and you're the sucker holding the bag as the market takes a dive. Well, there's a way to handle that. And um, I'll be talking about that tomorrow as well. Because if, this is going, if those weekly charts are accurate, you couldn't get a peak D. In the in the Dow until late January. Uh, let me just think about that. 
I haven't got the calendar up. I'll try. Maybe I'll try to get a calendar in the break uh, for January. But that would take me because look, this weekly chart is let's call it A. That means if all of next week there's no new high, that becomes a peak A. Well, wait a minute. You've only got a week. That's all of next week. So all of next week's the last week. So that means 1st of January. So that means you'd have to have at least, because it's a seven-way form, you've used up two. That means it takes you almost to the end of January before you can get a weekly peak D for a much deeper uh, pull. Not to say you can't get sharp pullbacks, but for a peak D, pretty serious top. All right. With that said, just very short term, I, to do that. I was asked, could I show? Where was it? Uh, could you show the charts? What was the last peak? This peak here right, is an F right here, peak F. And uh, I could sing my song. I just don't feel like singing right now. Um, it's uh, the Chapman Wave song. Um, that's an F. And this is an alternate count, G slash B in the uh, five-minute chart and a leg E in the um, ten-minute chart. But so far, the technicals are pretty strong. Daily technicals are starting to weak. All right, now let's go. The bunch of questions came in. So, uh, um, S, so, so GDX has support at 31.25 to 30.74. The um, uh, I use ASA as kind of a benchmark for me. Oh, that was a nice breakout to the upside. That means that the weekly chart is trying to go for 16.15. This is ASA Gold and Precious Metals Limited. Um, was it holding okay yesterday? Today's a nice big break to the upside. It's on our list of stocks. I, we don't, did not get it. I, I had it there as something that we were, wanted to buy in a pullback. But if this is really the start of a bigger move in, in the um, weekly charts, going to test the high back at around about almost 1760, uh, that was back in Mar April, May. In May, um, there's still plenty of room to go. So we'll see about that. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, I wrote it down, wrote it down. Yes, the oils. So the XLE, let's just go to energy for now. You see the XLE, it's coming off the bottom, it's trying to rally. It, it isn't holding the 200 period moving average is at 84.53, up 35 cents. The 200 period moving average is at 84.90. Yes, it is moving, the technicals are improving. And today, for the first time, is going L. The day's young. It could change. But that means that the 9 period moving average is finally trying to turn up. But that, to me, is important. And I, I was asked about Exxon. So Exxon, and this will be on my list tomorrow when I'm looking at laggards that um, have overall good chart formations, but on the shorter term, have really taken a dive. And the, the multinational oils, because they give dividends as well, will be on the list. I'll be back in a moment. And the XLC, which is the communications uh, index. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So what I was saying is uh, dividend stocks. So the uh, multinationals are dividend. Communication services selects uh, Spider Fund um, doing very nicely in the daily and the weekly chart. And the monthly is starting to improve. Made an all-time high in the 85 area, plummeted down to the 45. And now it's trading at 72. So as I'm looking at this, my suspicion is that um, in terms of dividend stocks, there's going to be opportunity here to be looking at uh, what you can what you can be buying over the next few months. I'll be talking about that as well. So in my webinar coming up uh, tomorrow, so it's going to be really a, a very comprehensive look at what's going on, what's worked, what uh, what's starting to slow down, and what should be picking up uh, going into January and possibly into February, and that's going to be very important. A question came up about, where did it go? Uh, I wanted to, oh, that's right. So, you know, so I, I, I spoke about the, um, let me just see if I can get it right here. Yeah, so this is part of what I'll be doing as well, expectations. Look, huge sums have been expended in the infrastructure sectors, including the semiconductor industry, uh, the so infrastructure for this is the like PAVE, that's the ETF for the uh, infrastructure. But you've also got for semiconductor industry, huge uh, fabs, huge uh, factories are being built. And the government is, is really subsidizing a lot of factories or at least giving, making the conditions way, way easier and encouraging U.S. manufacturing. That is a huge change so that we're beginning to see uh, some kind of collaboration where we've got money that's going to come out of foreign countries, especially China, come back into the United States because we've really lost everything to do with our... We, we saw that when we ran out of products during COVID. Uh, we had to wait and wait and wait because there was this delay in getting uh, spare parts, things like that. And the other thing is that the bonds, I mean, the huge amount of money that are in bonds in CDs, um, and a lot of the boomers have said, you know, we've been whipping, 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 We've got retirement coming up. Uh, we just want to be secure. And then as markets move up, they're getting forced into the stock market. That's really what happens. It's money gets forced out of, out of the uh, more conventional and more, uh, I would say, conservative way of looking at money and going into the more, and it might turn out to be that's the way to think of it because your growth is what you need. So that's really what you do when you go into stocks. So it's a massive cash potential per cash uh, hoard transfer, and reluctantly at first, but then they're going to start. You remember the year 2000? Those of you around, that there were. It used to be that they say what widows and orphans are in bonds, but what happened was you had grandparents talking to their grandchildren saying, oh, "What do I do? What do I buy? What what is that? What is that?" Uh, um, um, uh, Microsoft, uh, maybe Juniper, you know, they had these, they, they went straight instead of going to the preferred stocks of Pfizer or any, something like that, more conservative is the normal thing that you would do. 
they went right into the the most treacherous of waters. They, I mean, they basically dived into uh, a cascading waterfall. Uh, right, they got into the top mostly, and that that's what you don't want to do. You want to do it very selectively, do it very organized to get into stuff, and then having your parameters to say, hey, if I'm wrong, this is what to look for. So the expectations nearer to the daily charts are really suggesting we're getting closer and closer to some form of topping action. That doesn't say that it can't go higher right now, but I'm saying my technicals are just starting to get to levels that say, oh, be a little careful. And looking out the smaller cap uh, and very weak 2023 stocks could play catch up to the major indices. And that's really a big part of what we're going to be looking at. So within that context, as I say, XLC, and you would think with people cutting the cord and all that, but this is really the communications area. It has to do, I, I, I was mystified before when I was looking at, this is not now, but it was about a month ago, Verizon getting smacked. Uh, let me just go there. Verizon, look at this, Verizon. I mean, this was a horrible chart. Look at that, just down, 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 down. And then it broke out from the just under 30 and now it's showing you 37. You had, what was it, Comcast, CMCSA, same thing. It was a better looking chart, but it plummeted down to the 38. And here it is at 44. Oh, oh, telephone. Wow, look at this. Telephone goes from the uh, 20s down to the uh, 12 or 13 area, 13. And now it's trading at 16. Uh, pulling back a little bit, but it's in all the other areas of the communications. Oh, is uh, what's that tower semiconductor? What is American Tower AMT? Where is that? Oh, I used to have this notated backwards and forwards. All right, I'll do it again. Uh, it is in this last one, peak A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, second D, right there. And it's just stalling a little bit at the 200 period moving average. Um, okay, I think it's also a reach American Tower. All right, so I needed to go through those. Another question came in. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, uh, Hello, friends from India. Yes, hi from India. I N I N D. Is that uh, the uh, oh I N D I N D? Is that I N D U I N D? Oh, I can't remember it offhand. I just looked at it yesterday. Ah, oh, there it is. India. Grant Media. Ah, no, it's not. I can't remember the, the India uh, ETF for the EW, whatever it is. I wonder if it's no, it's not EWI. That's Italy. EWI. Oh, wow, look at Italy. Almost at an all time high. EWG was Germany. EWG, Germany. Uh, recovery high. This is the, e, this is the, uh, this is not the index, the DAX index. This is the EW, the EWU. So here we go. PCT, question on PCT. Um, oh, is this a thoughts on a climax low yesterday? So I have a technique that I call volume, price, climax, low. And let's just see, that was a huge a volume of 23.9 million. I just don't see any volume like it anywhere. But you see, this is not the pattern that I look for. The pattern that I look for is not just one sudden smash to the downside. It has to be cumulative. It's as if it's going down, going down, and then it gaps down, and that's not good enough. The next day is a, another red candle, and then the final one is a huge gap down. We saw that in Schwab back here in March the 13th, I believe it was. There, March the March the 13th, 45. See, that's that's the climax that I look for. Look, volume, huge, huge volume. And it gapped everyone. At this point, everyone just threw out every stock they ever had of Schwab and said, I, I'm i done. I'm done. I've got it. It was up in the 80s just uh, four weeks, uh, no, a week ago. And now it's in the 40s. And then what happens is it makes a climax low. And it says within 28 days, it should be, if it's making higher highs, um, and higher highs, and preferably higher lows, uh, it could go for 56 sessions. Well, this didn't quite do that. It came back, retested a few times, 45, 65 was the low back in May, and then it started to move up. And it even had a big pullback recently down to the 47 level. Look, down to, yeah, right there, down to 47. 
right there. And now it's trading with 69. It's on our list. One of our uh, one of our stocks in the list. Uh, I'll be back. Dow's up 185. Be back. Right Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Just real quickly, that PCT, I didn't realize uh, your cycle. Tech, that's a $3, $3.43 stock. What you want to see is that that was some kind of an aberration to the downside, just kind of, oops, I didn't mean it. And that means it needs to get to 366. And in 366, I would say, without going to 320. And right now, it's at 343. Now, you want to do this as quickly as possible. Um, and uh, as I say, and it did make a peak in the daily and a peak in the monthly. So it's, uh, this is all part of what happens sometimes when you get those tops and you get a sudden pullback. Now, let me do a couple of things just as we're going to wrap it up. So for tomorrow, um, I'm having my webinar and that webinar really, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it in the sense that 
at this particular stage, um, sectors, let me just show you this here. It's a nice picture of me way back 20-something years ago, maybe even more. Um, in fact, I think I had my conducting outfit on so when I was a conductor and clarinetist. Okay, the opening call subscriber webinar, uh, stocks, sectors and stocks just coming off major 2023 lows. Ready for even more upside action. Wednesday, December the 20th, 2023, 4 o'clock to 5.30. I'm really looking at it. It'll be archived. It'll be like webinars and different techniques that I'll discuss in great detail and show, demonstrate. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you can get to it. Um, it's a no-lose no situation since there's a money-back guarantee. And uh, I will see you a little later on, I believe, with Tom. So have a great rest.